Welcome to the Sunday Update. Faith Garden with you. As New South Wales recorded its worst day of COVID infections, the message remains high vaccination rates is the path out of lockdown. There were 825 infections listed yesterday, the highest daily number ever recorded in Australia. Australian Medical Association New South Wales President Dr Danielle McMullen says getting the jab is becoming more and more urgent. We definitely need that combination of low case numbers and high vaccine rates. Either one alone isn't quite enough, so people do need to be following the stay-at-home orders but also continuing the great work at getting vaccinated. At least 47 people were arrested and more than 260 fines handed out at anti-lockdown rallies in Sydney. While protests in Melbourne turned violent with seven officers injured after thousands turned out to protest stay-at-home orders, more than 200 arrests were made. Smaller rallies were also held in Brisbane, Perth and Darwin. Pressure is mounting on the federal government to increase its intake of Afghan refugees. Australia has reserved 3,000 places. A cystic fibrosis medication is being considered for subsidy on the pharmaceutical benefit scheme and people with communication disabilities are urged to reach out for help this speech pathology week. To sport now, Melbourne has come from 40 points down to beat the Cats in Geelong to claim this year's AFL minor premiership. Skipper Max Gorn sealing the 81-77 to win with a kick after the siren. Coach Simon Goodwin though says the job's not done yet. We wanted to be in a position where we finish as high as we put up the ladder to give ourselves the best opportunity. We'll reset ourselves, refocus ourselves. We know that's one season down and the new season will begin next week. Carlton couldn't quite get home for club legend Eddie Betts in his final game, going down to the Giants by 14 points, 89-75. to Brisbane has sealed a top-four spot after beating the Eagles and wins also to the Swans and a draw between Hawthorne and Richmond. Round 23 of the NRL, the Eels too good for the Cowboys, 32-16, to but North Queensland coach Todd Payton thought his boys fought hard. When we get the detailed part of our game plan, we look good. Times when we don't, we don't look so good. But Parramatta with 15, about halfway through that second half, they went up a gear and we just couldn't go with them. So that was a difference in the end. The Knights, 22-16 to winners over the Bulldogs and the Sharks, big winners over the Tigers, 50-20. to To entertainment news now, pop star Demi Lovato made headlines for coming out as non-binary, but the singer opening up further about their gender expression, revealing they may one day identify as trans. Disney and 20th Century Studios' Free Guy, starring Ryan Reynolds, is expected to score the number one spot at the domestic box office for the second week in a row, and the weekend has dropped some big money on his new digs, buying an LA mansion worth 70 million. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.